Hello everyone, it's the Mongoose, and today we are going on our very first manga haul of 2022. I hope y'all had a great year, and I figure what better way to celebrate the new year than blowing all of my Christmas money on some manga. So we're going to go to a new Barnes & Noble today, one that is supposed to be a little bit bigger than the one that I usually go to. So I'm hoping that that means that they have a bigger manga selection, which would be awesome. I actually also ordered some manga online from Barnes & Noble and got some when they were running a hardcover sale a couple of days ago. So we have a ton of stuff to open already we're gonna go buy some more right now so let's go ahead and drive down there so we can start manga shopping so the first thing I noticed at this Barnes & Noble, besides the fact that it was so big, was that they had 20% off anime DVDs, so I immediately went to go check it out, and they had some really cool titles. One that I really wanted to pick up was the Spirited Away Limited Edition Steelbook. It looked awesome. I didn't pick it up, but I might go back if they're still running the sale. Now making our way to the manga section, something I noticed right away was that they had a lot of titles that they don't usually have at the Barnes & Noble that I go to like Adachi and Shimomura, it seemed like a Yuri that I would definitely be into. Another one that caught my eye was Angels of Death. I really liked the artwork on it, and the title grabbed my attention as well. Moving along... Now this manga, I'm a little bit upset that I didn't pick it up. I completely forgot about it. It usually happens with the ones that I look at first. The sentence of a bookworm just looked really nice. They had the box set of the final season of Attack on Titan. I just haven't started reading it yet. Well, this was an instant pickup for me. Beauty and the Beast of Paradise Lost Volume 3. It's the last one I'm missing. Beyond the Clouds. Now this artwork was stunning to me. Just absolutely gorgeous. Dear Norman, I love the simplicity of the cover, but the story just seemed kind of confusing to me, from the synopsis at least. Cheeky Brat, this looked like a fun little rom-com. They had a little table for Shonen and Rent-A-Girlfriend. Donuts Under a Crescent Moon. Now, I haven't seen this title before, and it looked like a really nice take on the Yuri genre. Now I do want to ask you guys, what are your collecting goals for 2022? Now me personally, I'm looking to just move out of the realm of like rom-coms and romantic genres and try and, you know, dip my feet in a couple of other genres, things that I wouldn't typically read, but I'd love to know in the comments down below, what are your collecting goals? Are you looking to collect a certain amount of volumes? Are you looking to read a certain genre? I'd love to hear about what your goals are for the upcoming year. Could just be a simple goal as just finishing a series. Now, The King's Beast, I've heard the artwork in this is phenomenal, and I've passed on it once, I don't want to pass on it again. Karate Survivor. The title kind of grabbed my eye, but I don't know, I wasn't like too in the mood for Shonen today. Invaded. Now, the artwork on this cover was just gorgeous in my opinion. Super simple, but just striking. And it seemed like a really interesting mystery thriller type. One thing that I did notice was that when I first got to the manga section and I saw it, I was like, wow, this looks really small. And then I turned the corner and saw these five tier bookshelves that were just absolutely massive. Like it was hard to even record the top shelf. It was so tall. Happiness, that was one that I passed on in the past and I, I don't want to pass on it again. Let me know if you guys enjoyed me going to a different Barnes & Noble this time around. And let me know if you'd like to see me go to any other stores as well. I feel like it's nice just to change up the scenery every now and then. My Little Monster. I'm really upset because this was a story I wanted to pick up, but unfortunately they only had one copy of Volume 1. And it wasn't in the best condition, so I didn't feel comfortable grabbing it. Orange, I definitely want to get into orange at some point. Perfect world. Per usual, the romance was just calling my name today. <laughs> Solo leveling. 
Skip and Loafer, I've heard only great things about this story. They only had one volume and I grabbed that right away. Didn't want to pass up on it. Now they even had a little romance table. It seemed like it was just for me. I was really excited. A lot of titles that I haven't necessarily seen and some that I have. Like this one, Sachi's Monstrous Appetite. The story seems pretty insane. The dangers in my heart as well. I, I really like the artwork, but the synopsis was kind of weird on it, so I, I passed on it. I do want to apologize if the camera is a little weird in some areas of this video. I got a new phone, but I'm not used to the settings yet, so I'll, I'll try and make sure that it's better next time. But I think I know what I want to grab for today, so I'm going to go ahead and check out. Uh, okay, so some things happened in that Barnes & Noble and I went a little bit overboard. So let's head back home since I also have a Barnes & Noble package to open and I'll show you the entirety of the haul. I think it's like quadruple my biggest haul so far, so yeah prepare yourselves okay so we're back home let me show you everything that we got first of all we have this online order from barnes and noble and we also have some hard covers that i ordered during their hardcover sale like a week ago we also have this bag full of manga and last but not least we have an entire box set okay so where do we start the ones that are already opened first so we got comey can't communicate now this isn't a hardcover but i haven't seen volume on anywhere so when I saw it I immediately grabbed it and I actually already read this so I'll talk about it in my review for this month but I've been waiting to get Comey and I'm really excited that I can finally jump into the series something that I really resonate with it's a great story next up we have captivated by you this is a hardcover and it's absolutely beautiful I really like the artwork and it was 50% off during that sale it seems like maybe a kind of mystery story so something that I'm looking forward to reading a little bit out of my realm of genres that I typically read, so really excited to dive into this eventually. Next up, we have Vinland Saga Volume 2. Now, I was lucky enough to grab this before they all went out of stock, so I've added Vinland Saga number two. We have nine more to go. I also grabbed Full Metal Alchemist Volume 1. Now, I'm not sure if I will like Full Metal Alchemist. I know that it's like critically acclaimed, but I think it has some mech elements in there, and I have never gotten into the mech genre, so this will be like maybe kind of my first intro into it. And who knows, maybe I'll, I'll like it, but the hardcovers are absolutely beautiful of Full Metal Alchemist. And from what I've heard, like everybody loves this story. So I'm excited to dive into it. Next up, we have the Barnes and Noble exclusive edition, complete manga of Stein's Gate. I, I kind of had to pick this up 50% off for the entire Stein's Gate. Like who can pass up on that? So we've added it to the collection. It's, it's really pretty as well. Okay, so let's do the box first because there's less manga in there. And and we will move on to the bag after. But yeah, this is by far my biggest haul. I think it's 50 volumes if I'm not mistaken. So I, I went I went crazy with my Christmas money. First up, we have volume three of Miroku-chan. Now I'm waiting on volume two still. It should be coming early January, like a week or so. So I can finally continue this story. It's one that I've been waiting to continue for like two and a half months now. So I've added number three and I think number four to the collection as well. Yeah, speaking of volume four. So we've got got three and four waiting on two and then we can just go through the story all right next up we have gal gohan volume one now this seems like a quirky funny story about a teacher who sets up a cooking club and nobody comes except for miku on the cover right here and she is absolutely terrible at cooking so he only has one person in the club and she cannot do the one basic thing that is needed for the club so it seems like it'll be like a funny little story maybe a rom-com i have no idea but i figured i'd pick it up it also has really nice texture on the title as well so yeah we've got volume one of Gal Gohan. Next up we have bottom tier character Tomozaki. Now this is basically about the main character who thinks that the real world sucks and he only loves video games because in video games there's balance and he can kind of control what he wants in life where in life there's a lot of uncontrollable factors until he meets Inami right here on the front cover who is both really good at video games and apparently pretty good in the real world as well so I think she's going to kind of change his outlook on the real world and yeah it's a light novel so it's my second light novel. It's it's one that seems very interesting to me. So we've got two light novels to start getting into. It's one of my goals for 2022 is to read more light novels. So I figured I'd pick this one up. Seems like a really fun read. Okay, next up we have, please put them on Takamine-san now. This is a ridiculous story and 
that's the reason I bought it because it was so absurd in the synopsis. I was like, I kind of just have to know what happens in the story. It's basically about Takamine on the front cover who's just amazing at everything she does. She's good at athletics, she's good in school. And there's a student in her class, Shirata, that sees this and just thinks there's no possible way she can be amazing at everything. So he finds out the secret to Takamine's success is her underwear. Apparently whenever she strips, she can undo past actions. So yeah, like it's kind of an absolutely ridiculous story, but that's why I bought it. So we've got, please put them on Takamine-san. Okay, next up we have, keep your hands off Izuken. Now this story is about three new students at this school that are super interested in anime and they want to eventually create an anime. So I think what I'm gathering from the synopsis is that they go on like a wild adventure that kind of brings to light like the process of anime making. So I figured it'd be a really cool story to get into to kind of like maybe see some back end things of the anime creation process in a manga. So it's kind of the best of both worlds for me. So I picked it up and it also won best new series, I believe as well. So it's probably gonna be a really good read and I'm super excited to jump into it. Okay, we have two left and second to last is Sweat and Soap volume three. Now I still haven't dove into Sweat and Soap, but I'm slowly collecting it all because I think it's on volume 11, if I'm not mistaken. So I kind of want to get a few volumes before I jump into it, just so I'm not like missing out on what happens next because I know I'm gonna love this story already. So we picked up volume three. All right, and the last manga out of this box is My Lovey Dovey Wife is a Stone Cold Killer. Now the title is kind of absurd, but basically what it is about, Setsuna on the front cover here, she is a professional assassin, but in her spare time, she is just an absolutely great wife. And apparently her husband asks no questions about her day job or what she does. So she kind of leads like a double life in a sense, and it's supposed to be a comedy. It seems like it could be pretty cool. It has like elements of Kiru Kill Me in it. So yeah, I kind of just want to see what happened and what transpired in a professional assassin leading a double life as just a great wife as well. And that is it for the box. Let's jump in to the bag now. We've got a lot. First up is The Phantom Tales of the Night. Now what attracted me about this is the cover. It's absolutely beautiful and I really enjoy the artwork on it as well. So what the story is about is it takes place at Murakumo Inn where the innkeeper takes in a bunch of like different creatures and beings, humans, pretty much anyone. But instead of money, what he takes as compensation is confessions to him. So I picked this up because I feel like it could be really cool where you can get different perspectives of whoever comes into the inn and like learn about their stories, their past, their life. I feel like it could be a really interesting story. So Phantom Tales of the Night. We picked it up. We're going to check it out. Seems fun. Next up, we have The Girl Without a Face. Now this just seems like a very endearing, lighthearted, and just warm read. These two on the front are in a relationship. It's kind of hard for the boyfriend, they don't have a name on the synopsis, to understand how she's communicating. So there's a little bit of miscommunication. But from the synopsis, it says at the end of the day, their love is always what's most important. So I think it's going to be a really nice stories with some intricacies in relationships. The artwork looks really nice as well. So we've picked up the girl without a face. Next up, we picked up one that I passed on in Newberry Comics, I believe, which is Happiness Volume 1. And I've heard that it's a great read. So I didn't hesitate when I saw it again. I made sure that I picked it up because I'm really excited to get into this. All right, next we have Sachi's Monstrous Appetite. Now this story is a little bit weird. Basically, it is about Sachi. She prefers friend's Maki right here and she's just bigger, taller, and just has like this crazy appetite. And apparently she's a shape-shifting monster and there are more of them out there. So I really don't know where this story is going to go. It was in the romance section. So there's going to be shape-shifting monsters with a touch of romance. And next up we have Beauty and the Beast of Paradise Lost Volume 3. I already have Volume 2 and I haven't read it yet, but Volume 1 was really good. It intrigued me. I thought it was a, a very in-depth story and had a lot of great elements that I think could be expanded on so I'm happy that the next two volumes have already came out and this artwork on the front cover is absolutely gorgeous right and we have another Beauty and the Beast this one is Beauty and the Beast Girl now what this is about is a monster living in the woods who has kind of secluded her entire life when she befriends a blind girl on the front cover who just loves listening to all of the great stories that she has to tell and they end up forming a friendship I'm assuming but it seemed like an interesting dynamic and I'd like to get to know both the characters all right we have Invaded Volume 1. Now, I picked this up because the simplicity on the cover with the artwork is just absolutely gorgeous. And on top of it, it seems like a really cool mystery thriller as well. So I figured I'd, I have to go out of my genre a little bit, out of my comfort zone. So we picked up Invaded Volume 1. Next up, we have Skip and Loafer Volume 1. Now, I've only heard great things.
things about Skip and Loafer. So I saw it at Barnes and Noble. They only had volume one and one left at that. So I picked it up, held it right away. And yeah, we've got Skip and Loafer. I'm really excited to jump into this story. And we have picked up When Will Ayamu Make His Move Volume 2. We already have volume one. We had two of volume one, but I got rid of one. So we've got volume two. Excited to start the story and then continue it. And next up, we have The King's Beast Volume 1. I've heard a lot of great things about this and that the artwork is just brilliant in the manga itself. So I'm pretty sure a new volume of King's Beast just came out as well. I'm excited to get into it and I hope that I like it. It seems a little bit out of the realm of what I normally read, but I've heard really good things about it. All right, and we have Cutie and the Beast Volume 1. Now this story piqued my interest. It seems like a really nice romantic story about a pro wrestler who kind of plays the villain on television. But one day he gets fan mail from this girl on the front cover right here and it really touches him apparently he has a softer side as well and I guess they're probably gonna form a relationship about somebody who's kind of misunderstood and somebody who is trying to understand him a little bit more but it seems like a really fun romantic story so I picked up Cutie and the Beast volume one we have two more mangas left and second to last we have Donuts Under a Crescent Moon and this is a Yuri and it's my first Yuri and this story seems absolutely great it seems like it touches on a lot of great elements of self-doubt self-confidence a relationship that brings people together and builds them up. So I'm excited to get into it. It's also very thick. It feels like really freshly printed. I love the artwork on it as well. And the title seems pretty interesting too. So I kind of want to see where they get the title from. Okay, and last manga that we have is Ghostly Things. Now this artwork is absolutely brilliant in my opinion. Now what the story is about is Yachio on the front cover moves into a house all alone because her father is currently overseas. But the house is a haunted mansion. But she decides to tough it out so she can find some secrets out about her family. It sounds like a very interesting, maybe mystery type story with a little bit of horror elements in it. And I really love the artwork as well. So I'm excited to see where this story goes. It seems really cool and a little bit creepy too. Okay, and last but not least, we have the big boy, the Bleach box set. My first ever box set that I purchased. And this was completely by chance. I was at the cash register and I saw one box set chilling behind the register. And it was bleach and of course I was looking for bleach last night online it was completely sold out and just by luck I happened to go to the Barnes and Noble that has bleach so I couldn't pass up on it we've picked it up my first ever box set I'm currently reading burn the witch by the same mangaka and I really love the artwork and the storytelling in it the way he develops characters is just really brilliant in my opinion so I figured that I will probably love bleach as well so we've got 21 volumes of it now and that is it for our very first haul of the new year's it will probably be the big biggest haul of the year and it's our first haul of the year. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope you enjoy whatever pickups that you currently have and whatever you're currently reading. Thank you all for watching. I will see you next time.